It is a troubling trend nationwide, and new data shows Tennessee is not immune. Teen suicide and attempted suicide rates are increasing, according to the recently released State of the Child report. News 2's Sarah Smith talked to a mental health expert tonight about the signs a teen is struggling. A troubling pattern among Tennessee's youth. The State of Child report shows teen suicide numbers on the rise. Between 2019 and 2021, rates went from 7 per 100,000 to 9.4 per 100,000. Here's what Beth Tucker with Volunteer Behavioral Health has to say about the issue. There's a lot of social bullying happening and also bullying in schools and then just overall people being more depressed than how they have been. Tucker says social media is just part of the problem. Like we're still getting past the um, pandemic, you know, where they were isolated for so long. Stats show rates also high among LGBTQ teens. Because they're maybe not feeling accepted by their peers, not feeling accepted by their parents, and then also um, not having as many resources um, for help as people that um, do not identify in that regard. Here are some signs, Tucker says, that a teen may be thinking about suicide. They um, aren't interacting in activities that they used to act, um, interact in, um, repeating things like they're lonely or they're just sad or that they just don't see a point in living. She says having conversations about mental health can save lives. As a teenager, they might not know what all resources are out there. So helping them find um, therapy services or um, making sure that the parents know as well if they're a teacher and the kid is coming to you. In Murfreesboro, Sarah Smith, News 2.